These are the three biggest chains of convenience stores in Japan. If you're ever going to travel in Japan, chances are you're going to visit one just because it's, well, convenient, but also because it's part of Japan's social infrastructure. But I digress. Hey everyone, Kanae Ventoku here, and like I said in my previous video, and if you haven't checked out my previous video, link is right over here. Shameless plug! It's only Japan's convenience stores that's actually convenient location-wise and what they have to offer. Not only that, Convenience stores here tend to adapt to what's in their surroundings. An example would be if a convenience store was relatively near a school, they would have a small section for the stationery. If it's relatively near a tourist spot where foreigners go or actually live in there, they would have more sandwiches than your usual selection. Not only that, if you happen to pass by a convenience store that's near a motel area, well, wrap it before you slap it. This video has been sponsored by condoms. Wrap it before you slap it. Tired is the gaijin, he heads to the kombini, buys famichiki. Now, Japanese convenience stores have a lot of things to offer. As I have said, they are essential for the Japanese social infrastructure, but they also play a huge role for tourists in Japan. They actually have a lot of things to offer, from foods such as onigiri, sandwiches, and even bentos that are also so Japanese. As you can see over here, there's a lot of Japanese options, such as this one. I exactly do not know what this is, but it looks like Japanese food to me. And you have the omuraisu here as well. Check this out. It's omuraisu. And usually when you buy this in a restaurant, like an omuraisu restaurant, it will cost like $10 or 1,000 yen, but here it's half price. It's definitely still expensive since it's $5 a pop, but considering if you're going to a restaurant, it's actually cheaper. Yeah, I guess my point is it's really easy to experience Japanese food here in Japan through convenience stores. And there you go. There's the Menchikatsu Bento. That looks so good, I swear. A thousand calories. Oh my god, no. So like I said a while ago, convenience stores is actually a good way to experience Japanese food here in Japan for a cheaper price compared to, let's say if you go to a restaurant rather than paying $10 in a convenience store, you would pay $5 and such. And also they have a lot of selections in general. You have the advantage of actually picking what you want in a convenience store compared to like a restaurant where the menu is really limited. I definitely recommend you guys to go to a convenience store at least at least a day. Come on, give it a day. They also have hot foods such as karage, which means Japanese fried chicken, yakitori, which means the skewer, and also meat buns of different flavors. Most convenience stores will also have quite the selection of hot and cold drinks, from your crowd favorite Japanese green tea to alcohol for days. Now, they also have exclusive drinks of their own, just to have some sort of only you can buy here branding, which I tend to never buy anyway, but it's something you should consider since they're relatively cheaper than your typical non-exclusive brand. There's also tons of sweets and ice cream to choose from as well. Most are Japanese branded sweets, but there's also exclusive ones as well. They come in small packets in most cases, good if you just want a piece of the pie. So it is now time for my favorite, and my favorite is actually the Black Thunder. Um, it looks like this, but this is actually the big version because I'm big, I'm fat, I guess. But I like this because like it brings back a lot of memories, you know, it's more of a nostalgic chocolate to me At least like four years ago, I used to study a lot of Japanese and this used to be my study chocolate And I used to study with the big ones too They also have the smaller ones for you guys, but this is so good I actually researched a lot of konbini videos before I made one and I saw that Charla also likes this chocolate So, you know, I'm not the only one, I'm telling you Hey! So it looks like that for starters and... Yeah, it's like a chocolate filled cookie, I guess, but the cookie is so damn good, like, ugh. <laughs> if you're a calorie conscious person, I guess this is not the chocolate for you, but for people like me and for 99% of the people who don't care about calories, you should definitely have some of these, it's so good. Another thing that is worth noting is they have your hygiene covered as well, with a lot of options such as lotion for dry skin to simple cosmetics. My personal favorite is actually the body wipes, which also happens to have a cooling agent in it. So if you're having a hot day and sweating a lot, not only this body wipes will make you feel refreshing and clean, but also make you smell good at the same time, which is good when you're in the train. Let's not forget lastly, there's ADMs in almost every convenience store here in Japan. Your safest bet to get money out of an international ADM or credit card is 7-Eleven. Family Mart and other convenience stores may as well, but your mileage may vary. If you have any more questions regarding convenience stores here in Japan, definitely leave in the comment section down below. Let's have a conversation. And it's been nice, and I'll see you guys in the next video. 